Good. It's Calico. historical, but it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> so here we are in D.C., dark country, anything you want to call it. Chocolate We're here, City. Chocolate City, for the 44th presidential inauguration. Yeah. I'm here with my dear friend, Mr. Blair Underwood, and his beautiful, adorable wife, Desiree. That's right. Just wanted to talk to them just briefly about what the entire movement of Mr. Barack Obama sitting at the reins and the helm of the United States of America means to them. So, as we get into this, Blair, can you share with me what this overall presidential election means to you? This is about you. Be no, it you. ain't about me. Be, be, be you. Be you. Be you. Blair, be you. And let me be me. But for now, I need you to be you and tell me what this means to you. You scared me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Um, now, wait, listen. First of all, let me, let me, let me just say on, on the real. On the real. Um, there's a reason that I wanted to be here and we wanted to be here. We came together and brought our three young kids, ages 7, 10, and 11. It is because we are on the precipice of uh, making history, of course, of Barack Obama becoming our 44th president. Now, he's already been making history the last year and a half with, of course, his campaign. But, but really, what to answer your question, what it means to me, it is, it, it is the, the re-education of the world to potential of the black man. In a nutshell. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we're raising two young black boys and one little chocolate sister. And, and as you said earlier tonight, in the twinkling of the eye, yeah. in, the, in, 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 in a brief shining moment, when he won that election, all of a sudden it altered in many ways how people perceive black boys and black men. And it really, it really also changed or illuminated the undercurrent of race relations in this country for a long time. Because, you know, there are not enough black folks to elect Barack Obama president of the United States. That's right. Not enough of us. So that's a whole lot of other people of other races, white people, yellow people, red people, not just black folks that elected him to, to uh, this position. So I think he is he's the greatest person to run this country at this he's the right man at the right time. And part of that is because of his his ability to find middle ground. You know, however you want to break it down, however he breaks it down, he calls himself a mutt. But I think being biracial, he's had to reconcile within himself, you know, reaching out across the aisle within his soul, you know. Right. The right. racial dynamic, you know, um, and of course now in politics, Democrat, Republican. And we see how he's now he's built his cabinet around around him. You know, he's brought a little bit of everybody. So that's the kind of person I, I want to try to be. And that's the kind of person my parents raised us to be, to always find the common denominator. My dad said when I was a kid, he said, whenever somebody does something wrong, this seems kind of out of sorts, don't don't criticize, ask why. And I see that's the way he's built his campaign, the way he leads. Why? Why does Israel feel? Why does Israel feel this way? Why do the Palestinians feel this way? Why do the Republicans feel this way? Let me try to uh, break it down. So that is the great, great sign of a great leader. And to, to do all of that, to be all of that, and happen to be making history because of the color of his skin, all that is a beautiful thing. So we wouldn't miss it, and we're cold right now. So I'm gonna <laughs> take it on in. <laughs> and, and, and in closing, I, I, I just have to hear. This is an awesome thing to hear. You share those kinds of things, but more importantly, so so Desiree, you are now going to speak on behalf of Black women in terms of how this has affected your life. Blair has sort of just touched base on what it's done to our children, mm -hmm. but but just a Black woman in America, the impact of what this will have for generations to come on Black women. Can you tonight speak on behalf of all Black women? Oh, can I don't, I don't, that this is, is your tour. That's a tall order, <laughs> and I don't know if I can speak for all black women, but, well, I, I was going to speak about, a little, expound a little bit about um, what Blair said, because I still am looking at it through our children's eyes, yeah. and, you know, for our children, we want them to be there, because they, the reality of the situation is that, for them, they have not really known a time when this type of thing was not possible. And for them, they would say, why not, as opposed to how or why. And I just, I, I think for them to experience this and see all the people who will be there who didn't even expect this to happen, and who, you know, for this, like Jesse Jackson and people who uh, worked on the civil rights movement, who 
you know, are totally so touched by this, for them to see people like that there and realize how how serious this is, how how um, impactful this is, for them to see that, because otherwise, for them, in a, the world that they live in, they can't imagine it not being possible. So we want them to feel the, the weight of history and how, how serious this is. So that's why we want to bring the children and and that's why I wanted to be here myself. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, again, it, 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 a, a historical moment to say the least. We are honored to be here uh, as black people. More importantly, uh, honored to uh, share with our seeds uh, this, uh, this, this occasion, which we know will be a part of history forever, not only within our individual families, but our country. So again, I thank you all for sharing your points of view with me. Blair, so elegantly as you put things in the beautiful Desiree who just tacked on the icing to that, that uh, fine speech. You know, when I grow up, I'm going to be just like T.C. <laughs> and as usual, it's your boy T.C., the wireless guru, getting down like we do in D.C. Holla at your boy. It's all good. Peace. Uh, Thanks now. Uh,